In this video, I'm going to share my opinion on the All 33 Backstrong after having it in our office for 30 days. This is a chair that's been endorsed by people like Elon Musk, Chuck Liddell, and even Shaquille O'Neal. How does Shaquille O'Neal fit in this chair? I have no idea. Anyways, they said they've solved the sitting problem, and that comes from this rocking motion that mimics walking. Now, unfortunately, I had to discontinue use of this product after five days, which is something we'll cover later on in the video, so stick around till the end. With that, let's jump right into it. So the first thing we wanna cover quickly is just the price for the chair. Now, they really don't have a ton of options. It's in a fabric or a vegan leather, which is really just PU leather or vinyl. Both are gonna be $799. There aren't any additional options. Build quality is something that we definitely like to focus on here at BTOD, and when you're investing upwards of $800 on a chair, I think it's really important that it's going to be at a certain level. Now, $800 isn't the top tier, but it's definitely in the middle of the pack. So when we look at this chair, the first thing we always look at is just casters, base, and then coming up into the mechanism. I think the casters are just average. They're not over the top by any means. They're also not very cheap casters. But the one thing that I'm kind of a little bit concerned with when I look at chairs at $800 is the expectation that the mechanism on the chair is going to be that of an $800 chair. Now the reason why I have this other chair out here is because this is a $89 special at Target. It's our Target Essentials chair and it has a very basic swivel tilt mechanism. It has tension control here and it has a lever on it that you can pull out that allows it to release and tilt back and forth. This mech is very, very inexpensive and of course that's why the chair is $89. When we look at the Backstrong or the All 33, you can tell right away that they look almost identical. I mean, this mechanism from first glance, I really can't tell much of a difference. So from a quality side of things, I don't think that it's honestly any better. The same is true when we look at the cylinder. This is a class three cylinder on the all 33 chair. That's sort of just middle range. I mean, for $800, you would expect for it to be at least a class four. And so it's going to be very much on par with chairs that are an eighth of the price or even less. The next thing that we're going to look at from a build quality standpoint is just the construction of really the frame of the chair. So a lot of this is coming from plastic molds. There are a ton of different molds to make this chair and I don't have a problem with that. I know there are quite a few chairs that are using plastic molds to create different shapes and things, but the quality of the plastic mold can really be seen when you actually take a closer look at how things are pieced together, the imperfections that you'll actually see throughout when you take a closer look down in here you can see this isn't nice and smooth. There are a lot of imperfections and that's something that they're doing when they're tweaking molds and they're manipulating these things as they're kind of developing the chair. You'll end up seeing a lot of that. But with chairs that are from premium manufacturers like Herman Miller, Steelcase, Hayworth, you do not see imperfections in the plastics. They have really refined how they do that. So I think from just a mold standpoint and quality here with the plastics, I'm not overly impressed, especially for that $800 mark. When we take a closer look at the vinyl, some of the stitching work here, and just the foam inside of it, overall, I think it was about average, maybe a little bit above average. I didn't have any issues bottoming out, so I think the foam is pretty decent quality. But as a whole, from a build quality standpoint, I'd probably pin this chair closer to three to four hundred dollars than eight. We're going to take a closer look at the adjustments on the All 33. It's a fairly basic chair, so it doesn't have a ton of adjustments. The first one, which is pretty standard, is going to be seat height adjustment. And you can see it goes to about 18 and 3 quarters inches at the lowest height, up to about 21 and 3 quarter inches. Now, what does that mean for people that are under 5'8", five, 5'7"? Five, this chair probably won't fit you from an ergonomic standpoint. If you're my height, about 6 feet should be fine, upwards to probably about 6'8". Now, the other adjustment that it has is it will release and allow you to tilt back and recline in the chair, but because it's a very basic swivel tilt mechanism, you can see as it, it kind of like pushes, it pushes up my knees. It, it isn't a nicer synchro tilt that you would typically find on a chair at this price point, but it definitely will work and it has worked since I've had it here. So we lock that back in and you can see now it's in a locked position. The other adjustment, which is sort of just happening as you're sitting in the chair is the seat is actually rocking back and forth. You can kind of see it from the side angle here. So I don't, I don't necessarily understand this part because I don't know how you can see just my normal sitting posture. It doesn't really change that much unless I kind of force it up. So I don't necessarily understand this motion, 
they do say that it is something that mimics walking motion with your pelvis. I didn't notice it too much. And then the last adjustment is just gonna be in the armrests themselves. So these arms will flip up and go back and out of the way. So the whole premise here is that they wanted you to get closer to your desk, get closer to your monitor to prevent eye strain is what they've said. But I'd actually rather see these be more intuitive, be with pivoting something that would fit you a little bit better. The All 33 comes with a 275 pound weight capacity. So if we remember, this was endorsed by Shaquille O'Neal. And last he mentioned in 2021, he said he was 375 pounds. So just from a weight capacity standpoint, I'm not quite sure how he's using this chair. And not only that, like I said, this will go to 21 and three quarter inches. So maybe six, eight, six, nine. Shaquille O'Neal is about seven, one, according to Google. So I am not sure if he actually uses this chair. When you spend $800 on a chair, your expectations definitely are that it's going to be comfortable. So let's take a closer look at the comfort on the All 33. The first thing we always look at is just the seat itself. So how soft is the seat? I would say that this is probably going to be on the firmer end of the spectrum. You can tell the pad isn't very thick. It's maybe an inch and a half thick. When I sat in the chair, the way that I sit in it myself, I generally like a bit thinner seat pad and I didn't really have any issues here. Some, some chairs actually will create discomfort in my tailbone region. I didn't find that that was a problem in this particular chair, although I might've been focused in other areas, which is the lumbar support hitting me in the back. Um, so I wasn't so hyper-focused on the seat pad, but overall I actually think it's fairly good. Now, when we look at the back, same thing here. We wanna talk about how supportive it is and how padded it is, right? Is it comfortable? Is it all encompassing for your shoulders? One of the unique things about this product is the fact that it's got this rocking bucket seat here. I really can't actually get my back up to the backrest in the chair. And so when I'm seated working on a computer tasking, which is how I spend most of my time in the chair, I'm upright. Like I can't actually force myself in this position to get my shoulders to touch the backrest. So I'm always sort of upright like this. If you're someone who wants upper support, probably not a great option. And that's one of the reasons why I didn't necessarily love it is because of that. But if you can get back to the backrest, it fits me. So at six feet tall, it fits and it hits within my shoulders. And I found that the upper backrest was comfortable. Now looking at the lower lumbar support, this is something that I really didn't find to be too comfortable. And it's probably one of the reasons why they recommend that for 10 to 14 days, you should try this chair and let your body adjust to it. And that's because this lumbar support, the way that this kind of cups and hits into your back is super specific right here. And it actually, I'll show you here quick. I'll jump back in the chair. It, it pushes so hard in this weird region of your back. It's like the middle lower part of your back. And it honestly puts so much pressure on it that when you get out of the chair, you can still feel like that lumbar is in your back. Every one of the sales guys tried this chair and they said the exact same thing. They got out of the chair, got in their other chair, and they said, I can still feel it in my back. So very interesting for sure. And that's one of the selling features, I guess, on this. Now, the last thing we look at is the comfort on the actual arm pads themselves. They are a rock. There is literally, you, if you look closely, I cannot even stick my fingers into the pad. So it doesn't have any necessarily sharp edges, but it's rock hard. So it's just a, it's a real issue when it comes to someone who wants soft pads that really wants to kind of dig their elbows in. That doesn't exist. The other thing is a fit issue. Because they're so wide and there's no width adjustment to it, these things are at like 21 inches wide. So when I get in the chair, and let's say I was trying to task, I'll actually probably show you at a or show me at a computer so you can see it. I, I physically, I like to have my arms rested at the side, that's where you should be, and, and have them supported. If I was trying to type, no one types like this. this is, not a way that you would type at your computer or use your mouse. And this is actually one of the reasons why I had some issues with the product. So I don't know who would fit in this because I'm six feet tall, about 175 or 170 pounds right now. It just, it doesn't, it doesn't fit my body. So you would have to be quite a bit wider in order for this to work. So as promised, my personal experience with this chair. When it first came in, I was excited to actually take it to the sales team for their first impressions. So I rolled the chair out there and had them all sit in it, but no one really loved it. In fact, no one was even willing to commit to sitting in the chair to find out if it was going to work for them. Ooh, that's aggressive right there. Not in a great way. 
it's like promoting this weird rocking movement here. Like it wants you to be able to move a little bit, but it's so stiff everywhere else that like it doesn't move at all. It's a rock. Well, I'll tell you what, I think it's uncomfortable, but they say that I'm supposed to sit in this for two weeks. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do for the next two weeks. I'm gonna sit in this chair and I'm gonna give my opinion after two weeks. So I promised I would commit 10 to 14 days to see if this chair would work, but like I mentioned, five days in, I had to quit. And the reason for it was really two things. Number one was the lumbar support. It's very specific in the wrong location for me. It's in this lower middle back part that I just, I just don't like, and it's honestly creates a weird pressure on my back. So I ended up doing this when I'd sit in the chair, and I always found myself sitting forward with no support for my back which is not a good option. The other thing I found is that these armrests are just too wide for me. And because of that, I had no support when I'm typing and using the mouse. And I actually started to develop a pain in my neck. So because of those two reasons, I said I have to give up on this chair, unfortunately. But that doesn't mean it doesn't work for you. You just wanna try this thing before you buy it if you have the opportunity to. Hopefully this video helped you decide if the All 33 is going to be the best option for you. Don't forget to check out the next video where we look at the best chairs under $800. Thanks for watching.